Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for the privilege you've given to us to be here today. Father, we pray that all we do today will go with us to it in the name of Jesus. And the blessing of this service shall be ours in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That hallelujah is too weak. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you have more strength? Hallelujah. hallelujah. I've always been saying is that being alive is not automatic. It's just by the grace of God. Being alive today, witnessing this year's youth anniversary as well, is not automatic. 
is by the grace of God. That you witnessed it last year does not give you the guarantee that you are going to see this year. But God made it possible that I'm a priest does not mean I will see this year's anniversary. So it's just by the grace of God. Because God owes, he owes everything, including the breath. is the breath of life. If God says, die, we are going to die. But God says, be alive and proclaim my glory. Can you lift up your hands to the Lord and begin to wave your hands to God? Hallelujah, 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 Ascribe unto him honor and adoration. He who keeps you alive, he watches over you two for seven. Obati ki isu, awama asun lo joju mo. Elo mi ama fala, elo mi ama honu. Shugon lo nu ki isu. Aton son atoru lo fin jagwa yewa. He's the man of war on our behalf. Kai, can you say, Father, I bless you? Can you worship him? The youth, can you say something sweet to your father? He kept you alive last year and this year. He made it possible for you as well to be alive. Can you bless the name of God? Say, Father, I thank you. In spite of all that is going on in this nation, you are still alive. Can you worship God in any language? Can you worship God? Kelira hubi savala di kasha bali atu zanida kalamus ande bakute kisa lamba tadis bali akafadaya. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' name we have worshipped Him. People of God, can we go on our knees and ask for mercy? Can you plead the blood of Jesus to speak on your behalf? That blood speaks better things than that of Abel. <laughs> Can you confess your sin before him? No secret before God. He sees everything. He sees everything. That secret sin. That sin you have committed in the course of the week. 
can you is, 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 can you confess it to God to forgive you? If you confess your sin, he will forgive you. That sin that wants to hinder the blessing of God from coming into your life. That wants to stop God from doing what he has intended to do in your life today. Can you ask for mercy? As a church, can we ask for mercy? That our coming together here today will be fruitful. We come with result. And I want us to commit this service into the hands of God. That God manifests in our midst. Even though it is uh, the youth anniversary. Let us pray that it will not just be an ordinary anniversary. It will be a spirit-filled anniversary. Divine anniversary. That the spirit of God will be poured out upon us. That the spirit of God will move mightily. His spirit will be poured upon us. That the Holy Spirit will take charge. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, have your way. Play your role here today. He has many roles to play here. Can we ask him to play his role? Let's tell God, Father, we are ready for your touch. Touch our lives. Move mightily. And let us declare open heavens upon this gathering. Let us begin to appreciate God because he has answered our prayers. For we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As see it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. If you are glad to see another 36th anniversary of our youth. As you rise up, shout a loud hallelujah. That is too small for our God. The Lord that has kept our youth thus far. That is six years ago, this forum was formed. Some of our grandpas and grandma were there that time. And you are still alive to witness the 36th anniversary. We didn't lose any one of them. God has kept us thus far. Shout a loud hallelujah. We are going to praise and we are going to worship God. And we have in our midst, it's midst God's minstrel that he has sent to us to lead us in praise and worship. Join me as I welcome Minister Ianolua Oluwati Melein. Celebrate Jesus as he comes. If that is for Ianolua, it's too big. But if it is for Oba and Oba Oluwa and Oluwa, and it's to work here, it's all work. And it's your mouth, and if I say you, Miss Simon, only a real Rolla, Olon Latin, no Olon, Imole Latin, no Imole, Olon Ticara, and Latin, no Olon Ticara, and it's a bit of a coda, Tishara Conoc, and Lubaba. If your hands are not too busy, I want you to lift it above your head to the one that was that is that is and is to come. 36 years is not a joke. Give it to him, give it to him, celebrate Jesus. Do we have youth in the house? Shout, shout. Give it to him. This is a sanctuary. Let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath, raise the Lord. Be a warrior, God, glory, a lot. Boruko Jesu I want you to be intentional this morning. Oh, God, nifu warukare. What's on Banu Jatoke? Oh, go Nifu Rukore. Can you all just sing? Oh, go for Kore. Hallelujah. Oh, go for Rukore. Oh, go for Rukore. Oh, go I will repeat the song one more time. I 
I want the heaven to hear your voice. Let the heaven know this is Yanolua. This is Adewale. This is Tosi. This is Olumide. I want you to raise your voice to heaven. Back up. Can you please withdraw a bit? I want the whole church to sing Ogofo Kore. Lift your voice and worship him. Oh, go for Can we do it together for the last time? Can the drums join them? Inviting me, this is my home, this is my house. Oh, my abansado, ni me. So, if you know me, and that the one about not see from Gawa Levilori to confirm me. So, this is my house. I'm welcome anytime. Johnny B, if it's here, me but in your long work, you draw so you can. Uh -huh. So, the glory of the youth lies where in their strength. This is a youth anniversary. So, I want the youth to do it more. But daddy comes from there. Daddy, I'm going to do it. I want to be 17. What daddy, you to allow no. So, see daddy, I'm going to be you to allow it. I want to be a youth. I want to be a youth. I want to be a youth. I want you to shout to the thunders. Hallelujah. I want to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if you don't want to be a youth, are you ready to praise the name of the Lord this morning? Any old soda, boy, I go bear no see, let it that I go up bear it. Ask that person, are you ready to praise the name of the Lord? You've been faithful, God, from the ages past. That is why you're.
Be seated for the scripture reading. The scripture reading for this service is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8. I read from verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hears, hears of God, and joint hears with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectations of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected them same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption, into the glorious liberty of the children of God. This is the word of the Lord. Church, are you tired of worshiping God? If you are not tired, rise to your feet as we go into the session of intense worship by the same minister of God. Hallelujah. This is the time to worship God. See, this time is different from the one we dance. I want you to rise up on your feet and lift your hand. Let your heart connect with God this hour. Lift your hands and worship Him. Receive those living sacrifice. I am your worship. I say. Living sacrifice and your, your worship. And out of us, the King of glory, Yahweh's about, Yahweh's about. 
that song, I want you to sing it. to him. You are not doing God any favor by you worshiping him. Hey, Maria, call Shaka. I want that by many a local one, new mirror. What's up, my mima, mima, mima? What do you want to do? I want to do what you want to do. Oh, son, I love you. Hey, Maria, I want to put you in front. In front of my melody, you are all God. You are all the mother. You are all the mother. You, you are all the mother. I'll make room for two. I'll make room for two. If you can go on your news, are you to do right now? You are the mother. You are all the mother. You are all the mother. Hello, Madonna. The drums, bring it down. The drums, bring it down. The back up. Let the church sing. Hey, Maria, come. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be me. Do you like that? Ya Maria Kado Sakana de Ije like fair lord nini oba won oba oluwa won oluwa Oba to ti wa kaye to ma wa iti o ma wa ni gba ti aye oni sim ni mo oni ari ro ala bi aba lojo ja Ya lo mi madonna ni ami akana mi atada A total silence, the Lord is in his house this morning. The father of light, the giver of life. In whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. With the host of angels and the archangels, we bring our worship to you this morning. 36 years. 36 years. 36 years. About your little Lord. See, let it fill you. Ancient of days will worship you, Psalm. Ancient of days, we worship him. Can you just lift your hands and worship him? If you can speak in diverse tongues, I want you to do right right now. I want you to open your mouth and let your heart be filled. If you have not the spirit of the Holy Ghost right now, open your mouth, the Lord will fill it right now. The Lord is in this temple this morning. He is ready to present present for those who are presently present in his presence. The Lord of hosts is in the house. E Maria cara zodia da cheque E zumi ana de que piadoso E Maria da daquela zodia da 
We are firm our faith in the words of the apostolic book. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. To the Lord who have given us the grace to see the light of today, can we continue to wave our hands unto him? Can we continue to magnify his holy name? We are still in the mood of worship and in the mood of prayer. Can we open our hearts and open our mouths as we give thanks unto the Lord? Can we worship his holy name? Psalm 43 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Can you open your mouth and appreciate God? Can you open your mouth and appreciate God? Oreti Baba Sheho, O Jami Loju. Oreti Baba Sheho, O Yami. to open our mouth and appreciate God once again. If you are a youth in the house, I want you to appreciate God. It is a privilege to be alive today. It is not by right. It is not by right. It is a privilege. Can you thank God? How many of you grow, grew up together? See where you are today? Some of them are nowhere to be found. Some have been attacked by the devil. Some have been devoured by the lion. Can you open your mouth and appreciate God? Can you appreciate God for what the Lord has done for you? Can you bless his holy name? Father, we thank you for giving us the grace and the opportunity to witness today. It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Father, we worship you. Open your mouth and appreciate God. From the rising of the sun till the setting of the sea, your name is to be alone. Sun, 
prayer friends I want us to lift up our right hand unto the Lord our team says the manifestation of the sons of God and there is no how we can manifest as the son of God unless we have been empowered one of my boss will always tell me he says the world only celebrates excellence they don't celebrate mediocre and for anybody to be successful in life, such a fellow must be empowered. I want us to raise our right hand and pray unto the Lord. Say, Father. Say, Father. I receive divine empowerment to manifest as your son. In the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray unto the Lord? Father, I receive divine empowerment to manifest as your son. I receive divine empowerment to manifest as your son in the name of Jesus. I receive, O oh God, divine empowerment to manifest as your son in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We have two more prayer points. I want us to pray this prayer point for ourselves once more. In the book of First Kings chapter 3, verse 5, Solomon was praying to God for wisdom. God came to him and God was asking, what do you need? Why are you making all these sacrifices? And Solomon says, these people are too much. Give me understanding heart. I need wisdom to judge them. And you see, in this generation that we are today, without wisdom, there is no way, even as a youth, there is no way for us. Wisdom creates a way where it seems to be no way. Amen. I want us to pray once again as a youth. If you are a youth, I want you to be very serious with this prayer. Because in this generation, it's either you are, you are a solution or you are a problem. And it takes a, 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 a wisdom, an idea to be a, a, a solution, a problem solver. I want us to pray that, Father, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive an understanding heart to be a solution to this generation. Can we open our mouth and pray unto the Lord? In the name of Jesus. Father, I receive wisdom. I receive an understanding heart to be a solution to this generation. So that I will not be a problem. So that I will not add to the existing problem. Father, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Impact also God with a spirit of wisdom to be a solution in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty name we are prayed. And lastly, I want us to pray a prayer of agreement. If you have someone beside you, we can just hold the hands of that person. We'll be praying for Nigeria as a nation and our leaders, the church leaders our leaders in, in Nigeria. I want us to pray that, Father, as you are holding the hand of that person, say, Father, we pray for the release of wisdom upon our leaders in Nigeria and in the church in Nigeria. Father, we pray for the release of wisdom 
Help them to govern us aright. Help them to lead us aright. Help them to lead by the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and pray? Father, we pray in agreement for Nigeria. We pray that there will be release of wisdom. We pray that there will be release of wisdom, impartation of wisdom to govern according to the mind of God. We pray for our leaders, our presidents, our governors, the House of Representatives, the Senate House, oh God. We pray for the church leaders, our primates, our bishops, our priests, our vicars. Father, we pray that you will release your wisdom. There shall be impartation of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. As we have said, this so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Say to the powerful, amen. amen. Can we say the prayer of grace together? To the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Please be seated, we shall rise. Singing the next hymn, we shall rise as a singing of the last stanza. Brethren, it's time to listen to the word of God. And we have in our midst the person God has prepared to deliver the word for this anniversary of our youth for this year. He is the priest in charge of Ebenezer Anglican Church, Bukiare. And by his grace, he is also the chaplain of the Bodhi the Adekiri Youth Fellowship. I'm sure. Our youth in the Adikiri knows him very well. 
on behalf of our vicar and the Adi King of Budija, celebrate and welcome with me the Reverend Olukbe Mide Abiodun. We can celebrate Jesus as he comes. Lift your voices. So him is the king of glory. give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all adoration. We say be magnified and be exalted in the name of Jesus. Our amen is so low. I say Lord be exalted in the name of Jesus. Let's open our eyes briefly before you see it. Daddy I want to celebrate you. Thanks so much for the great privilege. I want to thank God for the choir. I want to thank God for the guild of steward. I want to thank God for the technical team. I want to thank God for everyone, our mothers. The Lord bless you. And above all, I want to thank the congregation and specifically the youth in the house. Can I just hear a great hallelujah? Please, before you see it, there is this particular assignment the Lord gave me to do before you see it. And I don't want us to take it for granted. Nahum chapter 2 verse 2. Nahum 2.2. 2. The Bible talks about the emptiers. 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 Do we have it? For the Lord will restore the excellence of Jacob like the excellence of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them out and rained their vine branches. Can I have it in Yoruba if possible? The focus is on emptiers. Good. Nitori Oluwa ti shetan lati da ogo jabo kobu pada. Bi ogo Israeli. 
No, I, I want there is a particular version. I want to need That's the word for empty. I want to need I don't know if you understand the trend that is ongoing right now. A me come what they should to judge the a me ton fi kuo jiji polongo go. You will see it, and you will see the viral video of the person going everywhere. And when you go to the comment section, something is always similar, whether on Facebook or TikTok or anything. You will see the comment telling you, Oh, I don't know this person, but what a waste. Rest in peace. The spirit is not affecting those that are already using their glory, but it's affecting people that are struggling. So that when you have a little clip here, a little clip there, to showcase that you are not lazy, when it remains a little for you to come to the limelight, the spirit will just. And you now know why you need to speak and receive the anointing for the emergence of the Son of God. Say, my father, my father. Ah, okay. Baba, me at your loru me. Bogu e me. Don't feel cool, Gigi. Bolongo go. Kill and do a war. Loru Cortez. Oh, yeah, one way, the law. I stand upon the word of God and I decree and declare every spirit that waits for you to be at the door front of your glory and then release death upon you. We command it to go in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You shall not die. Amen. Hear me, whether you say amen or not is immaterial. You shall not die. Ogwe mi to ni pe e ma wo to ba ku die ko sori re e be lule. Mo pa la se loruko Jesu e wo nu ide lo. Every youth, every adult, every aged in also church including our fathers, none shall die before his time in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you love God, put those beautiful hands together for him and celebrate him. Celebrate him, celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Hallelujah. Help me tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I love you. And there is nothing you can do about it. Don't worry, even if you are sitting beside your landlord and you are hoeing him. Say, neighbor, I love you. And there is nothing you can do about it. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Please have your seat. God bless you. It's good to be home. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The time is short, so I will go straight to the point. The first thing the Lord said I should do, having prayed with us, is to introduce you to you. When I say, who are you, I'm not asking you to tell me that I'm a beardo lubemide. No, 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 no. There is more. The version of you that is externally displayed is not strong enough to command that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There is more to you than the externalities. There is more to you than what we see with our eyes. Psalm 104 verse 4, I want to introduce you to you. Psalm 104 verse 4, we are going to do some Bible readings because of the time, but we are on. Look at it. Can we keep reading them together? Want to go? Who makes his angel spirit, his ministers, a flame of fire. Having read 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, I realized that when God is talking about ministers, he's not just talking about an individual, he's also talking about a nation. He's talking about people. He's talking about the generation. So when God says 
that he makes his angel spirit and his ministers, what? Flame of fire is talking about you. So the first thing I want you to know this morning is that I am a flame of fire. Can you say that with me? Amen. I'm a flame of fire. Now, if you check Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 13 to 14, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 13 to 14, okay? The Bible says, to which of the angels has he ever said, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your fools too? Verse 14. It says, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? For those who will inherit salvation. Do you understand what this place is saying? You are not just a flame of fire. When you send on Aaron, God is saying you are not just sending ordinary people on Aaron. According to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 13 and 14, it says that you send angels on Aaron. They are ministers for. So say this with me. I'm a flame of fire. I send angels on my hand. Now look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. Colossians 1 27. So you are not just a flame of fire. You just, now look at this. It says, To them God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is what? Which is Christ in you. I thought you would shout it with me. Christ in you. Now look at it. You will understand as I'm introducing you to you that when I say you are fearfully and wonderfully made, you need to have this understanding. So I'm not just flame of fire. I don't just send angels on errand. The Bible says that I have Christ. Where? In me. And when you read Revelation chapter 5 verse 5, you know, we know that Christ is typified by a particular animal. What kind of animal do we have in Revelation chapter 5 verse 5? He says, but one of the heroes said to me, do not weep. Behold what? The lion of the tribe of Judah. Wow. So inside this flame resides who? A lion. Hallelujah. And this man that you see to be ordinary is a flame of fire. And he has in him the lion of the tribe of Judah. And at the same time when he sends on Heron, he sends angels on Heron. You are not ordinary. In case you don't understand where I'm going, it takes proper understanding of your personality to be able to command respect in the spirit realm. Maybe you don't understand. When you say to anybody, I am so and so, something must take place in the spirit realm. Go to John chapter 18. Jesus did it. John chapter 18. Can we go to John chapter 18? Verse 6. Start from verse 5. John 18. Now, soldiers came to arrest Jesus. And he said, they answered him. After asking them, who are you looking for? He said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. And Judas who betrayed him also stood with them. Verse 6. Now when he said to them, I am he, what happened to them? Please say it loud. They drew back and what? Fell to the ground. That is a good introduction. That is a good what? Introduction. Who are you looking for? Looking for Jesus. And simply saying, I am he. Trained soldiers drew back and did what? And they fell. And they fell. We are not talking of something that is ordinary. We are talking of something that will command respect. This is not about you just screaming, Oh, I had a bad dream. I had a bad... No, 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 no. There is more to you than that. If you read the book of Acts chapter 19, Acts chapter 19, the Bible talks about the seven sons of Scepha. And this demon said... Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Do you know what that tells me? That means the same impact that the name of Jesus had when he introduced himself was the same impact the name of Apostle Paul had in the kingdom of hell. 
says, Paul, we know. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? Who are you? Before I drop the microphone, it, you won't understand what I've come to tell you without knowing the how. Some of us think that ah, the emergence of the Son of God is all about healing the sick. See, if you don't know who you are, you will not be able to command deliverance for your family. For instance, if you are the only one that your family is depending on for their deliverance, if you don't have a proper introduction of your personality, let's go back to that John chapter 18. John chapter 18, where Jesus said, I'm he. Okay? Now go to verse 6. Sir. Now when he said to them, I am he, go to verse 7. I want you to see something. Then he asked them again, whom are ye seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth, verse 8, the last place I'm going. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Can we read the last part? Therefore, if you seek me, let this go their way. Before you command deliverance for people, that's your son that is smoking, that's your daughter that is into a hookup. If you want to say from your standpoint, let her go away. Demon, take your hand off. The same way Jesus stood before the tomb of Lazarus and he said, loose him and let him go. There is a dimension of anointing that allows such to happen. You don't just talk and things happen. Hello. You don't just what? You don't just talk and things happen. If you read Matthew chapter 17, yes, Matthew 17, Matthew 17, because of the time, Matthew 17. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, verse 2. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his cloth became as white as the light. Yes. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with them. Yes, keep going. Now look at this. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, go to verse 5, where God spoke. While Peter was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. There is an anointing called hear him. If you like, gather the old people in a sanctuary. If the anointing called hear him does not rest on you, Immediately after service, they forget everything you've said. If the anointing of ear him does not fall on you as a husband, immediately you are done giving instruction to your children. It is water behind the dock. If you don't have anointing of ear him, whatever you speak to, I shall to call with your judge, your judge, shaking it on phone or rudy or room fee more. So if the day speaks. And he speaks something negative, and you cannot speak in a way that will command authority. You are just wasting your time. Hear him. And if you read Matthew chapter 3, you will understand the baptism of Jesus. Now I'm going towards the hand. How on earth can I receive this very power, the anointing? And I realize that the sonship in this kingdom. Has nothing to do with DNA. It is about the appointment of the Father. Galatians chapter 4, verse 1 and verse 2. Galatians chapter 4, verse 1 and verse 2. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master of all. Verse 2. But is under guidance and steward until the time appointed. By the Father. Until the time appointed by the Father. This boy is the owner of the whole estate. But he is just nobody but like a slave. Until the time appointed by the Father. Your emergence. New King James talks about that very romance that we quote. As the revealing. Not just emergence. The revealing. 
the revealing. If the Lord is going to showcase you to the world, the appointment, the day of your revelation to the world is based on the time appointed by the Father. And unfortunately, if you look at this very verse too, he says, but it's under guidance and stewards until their time appointed by the Father. Unfortunately, your passion, wanting to deliver your family, is not enough to release the anointing. That is why you can just fast for seven days and you are trusting God to release anointing on you. And after the fasting of seven days, you realize that the devil attacks you with sickness. You know why? Because God wants to release power upon you. But this version of you is not matured enough. It's not ready enough to release the dimension of power that God wants to release. And I keep telling people, I don't care if you fast. You know, there is more we say, we do about this Gen Z. It's the generation that has it all and loses it all. Because if there is anything that has bedeviled you, it is the inability to preserve what God has given you. It's a big problem. So we pride ourselves in our ability to pray for seven days, to fast. I had an encounter with a man as at three months ago. He had fasted, um, you know, had, 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 had all night, 12 a.m. to 7, every day for good 600 days. Good 600 days, 12 midnight to 7. And I was asking God, I said, Lord, when it comes to the aspect of what exactly is important to you, he said, son, let me say this to you. Ability to heal the sick is just one of it. Ability to raise the dead is one of it. But let me be honest with you. It is your relationship with me that matters. I said, what is the essence of praying? He said, the most important essence of praying, tell my people, is having finished praying, can I ask you to drop your will and embrace my will? That is when you really prayed. You follow Jesus to the Garden of Gethsemane. Where he was saying, Father, not my will, but yours be done. I don't care if you finish praying for 10 hours and you came out of your room and you are face to face with a person who just offended you and God says, let go. And you say, never over my dead body. You just had a mere exercise in futility. If you read Matthew chapter 6 about the lost prayer, you will realize that the most important aspect of the lost prayer is the will be done on earth as it is done where? In heaven. So it is not about your ability to heal the sick. It is about God saying it is time for you to be showcased. It is time for the world to know you. Hear me, you don't need to pray and fast for anointing to heal the sick and raise the dead. You just have a relationship with God. Just have a relationship with God. This Galatians 4 is simply talking about humility. This is a generation that knows it all. You look at your fathers in God, the angels placed on this church, and you perceive in your spirit that you know more than them. You will stay long on the queue. Your manifestation will not appear. And I'm not abusing you. Before I got into the holy order, when you go to church and you watch our fathers in God ministering, something keeps telling you that, oh, if only they could give me microphones. If only they could give me this same topic. I would dissect it. Now I'm dissecting it. Hmm? Now I'm dissecting And now I'm in front of all of you and somebody is saying he didn't quote that scripture very well. I was like you. But I realized that that Galatians says you are here, you belong, you own everything. But until you have learned from the guardian and the supervisor, I will not say this is the day for you to be revealed. And that Matthew chapter 3, when Jesus went to John the Baptist, John the Baptist said, my Lord, I should not be the one to baptize you. Jesus said, no, baptize me. So that's the righteousness will be fulfilled. And as he humbled himself, 
Though he be the here, though he had everything, but he humbled himself under the ministry of John the Baptist. The Bible says as he came out of what? Of the water. Heaven opened and there was a voice saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. I took you to that very Matthew chapter 17. On the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus God also said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye in. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are talking about the emergence of the son of God, you are talking about divine validation. You are talking about heaven saying, this is mine. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. Demons in your environment must hear you. Can I hear him? Amen. Principalities and powers must hear you. Barrenness must hear you. Now, let's go to the book of Philippians chapter 2. The last scripture I have. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. We are going to do the reading together. It's a bit long, but then you will see a simple summary of what I've been saying since. Are you ready? Please, let's raise our voice. Let's increase the volume. One, two, go. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men, yes, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Continue. Therefore, my beloved, this message is now for you. As you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, yes? For it is God, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Go on. Do all things without complaining and disputing that you may become what? Blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst. Now leave, go to this verse in King James Version. This is new. Philippians 2.15. Look at it. What is the thing? Emergence of the sons of God. I've been read everything from verse 5. Now look at verse 15. That ye may be blameless and harmless, who sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. It is the Lord that worketh in you, both to do will and to do of his good pleasure. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there are dimensions in the spirit that are long forgotten, but they are still available. After Josh Elijah had left. Something happened. And what was it? The transportation system that took Elijah was amazing. But in the time of Philip, having ministered to that eunuch, the Bible says immediately he finished baptizing the eunuch. What happened? That very transportation system that was long forgotten in the time of Elijah was activated and the spirit of the Lord took this man. I'm saying to you, there is a lot that heaven is depending on you to activate. If only you will humble yourself. Humble yourself and the Lord will lift you. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Father, we thank you for this time. I thank you for your word that you have ministered to your children. I pray, Lord, let the right things be activated in them. 
and may their emergence not be shortcut in the name of God the Father and of God the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. I want to thank God for that message. Next, we are going to be listening to a ministration from our youths. Please, the council, get ready. After this, we display the video appreciation with you. But now, let's welcome our youth department the youth choir for the administration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. of God. You are not saying it like you mean it. I am a son of God. Be blessed as we minister.
Baba, do we have in the house? If you are Omo Baba, shout aloud, hallelujah. Please be seated. Now we want to watch a video presentation from one of our youths. It's a short clip that describes what is in the heart of our youth to every one of us that have been part of the great work that God is doing in our midst. So, Consul, can you please display it for us? Can you give us a voice? Can we really thank you enough, Baba? You made it possible for us last year. You made it possible for us past years. Here we are today, the 18th of August, the year 2024, celebrating 36th year of Youth Forum in Osses Church, Bodija, Ibadan. Like our daddy will say, by divine arrangement, for long gone number one, Lawa Lori Street. Mufefi Akokoi, Mufefi Dukelowo Daddy and Mommy Obawea. Baba, why youth? Ninu Joy, at the adequate level, at the Nigbo Bobito Awaja and Jadi Baba. Eshe gong baba, fun gogo e la kakanyi lori wa, pe ki a wa odo, kale moke, pe ki a wa odo, kale jie nin la, eshe gong baba, God bless you sir. Only God can reward you for us baba, eshe gong 
a mo lore o olorun nikan lo ba lesson to le son yin lesson baba i also want to use this medium to appreciate god in the lives of individuals family and societies i want to teach you wow do lori lona kan abi omiran brothers sisters mommies daddies grandpas and grandmas e se gan ti po eyin te ti sha wa do lori lona kan abi omiran e se gan sas e se gan mas awon re kan wa ton wa secret awon re kan wa ton wa open awon re adase wa awon re ajo se wa awon re kan wa to ni gbimo gbogbo eni ru awa bayi ti gba e se gan sas e se gan smart e kuku meye to suwa e mo bi ta ti sanwa e sha nse wa lore ni gbogbo bi te ta wede gbogbo bi te ta gbode ni oruko jesu e mi gba letter ba nu je lori won awon na o de ni lack alaanu ni oruko jesu iyen tun mo si pe alaanu ni won won special appreciation to band of grace an ro won yin lo dodun e se gan kidal foundation e se gan daddy e se gan mommy an ro won yin gugu gba god bless you sir god bless you ma anglican christian fellowship men christian league women christian league morning stars at awon yoku e se gan ni sir e se gan ni ma a le dupe ton o she grant ni ka so ni she seminars ni ka so ni she empowerment ori shi rishi ni e se gan sir e se gan e se gan ma God bless you and bless all that concerns you in Jesus name. Ale dupe ton o. On behalf of all of us, Santi Gba Kidel Foundation Grant. Lati bi to ti bere. De yi te tun ma se loni, ata won te tun ma ma se. We are saying we are grateful. E se gan. Ani se, ibi te ti mo wo yin. Ibi te ti mo awon gift yi. Ise oni wo be. Ko ni ton ni oruko Jesu. We are saying a very big thank you. Gbogbowa, atawon to ti gba, atawon ti o ti gba, atawon to tun ma ma gba. We are saying a very big thank you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Oh, double. You can do better for the Lord Jesus. I'm sure that some of us are wondering what's happening. That is presenter Okpe Oluwa. Some years ago, Band of Grace Society decided to sponsor, and they have been sponsoring. He was sponsored to a radio station for a media training. And after his media training, he decided to do a presentation to celebrate the kindle that he has also benefited from um trying to package his business and then to also celebrate the band of grace and every other person that have contributed to our lives as youth so can we celebrate all our fathers all our mothers for all our youth brother kweolu wa is saying we appreciate you may the lord continue to grant you the grace to do more in the name of jesus and with that can i invite the chairperson of the youth forum Mrs. Mommy Mo Moreneke Odunsi as she comes to do a presentation for the one and only presentation that the youth always expect every year. Kindel Grant Presentation. Let's celebrate her as she comes. To the youth president, the sec- I mean the vice president, can you come to the front? Praise the Lord. Yes, this morning there's no long speech. We simply want to thank God for this grant that uh, a child of God in this church has always given to the youth. It's an annual thing. Can we just put our hands together to that anonymous donor? (laughs) 
the award is for the youth, like I said. Normally, we started with just 500,000. But this year, the Lord laid it in the heart of the donor to increase it to 600,000. It is called the Kidel, Kidel, K I D E L, Youth Entrepreneurial Award. This year, like I said, two people were given that award. And the two people, one had been a recipient in the past. But this particular child of God had decided to increase her business, to enlarge it. I'm sure without mentioning her name, you will know. She was the first girl or the first youth that was, by the grace of God, given the honors and award in some years past. She was the first youth. And that is because she had always been a blessing to the diocese and to this church in particular. She started with drumming. And the bishop announced it, that she was about the only female drummer in the whole of the diocese. In the whole of Bodhijajikini, let me put it that way. And then she left there and went into bead making. She became Finu Dara. She, first of, she was first of all Filu Dara. Then she became Finu Dara. So she decided to expand her business again. And said she will be doing Igba Yawo, you know what to call Igba Yawo, Eru Yawo, this engagement packing. And she's been doing it for some time. We have evidence of people she has been doing it for. And then she wants to enlarge on, upon that one. So our first recipient this morning is Miss Oluwa Sheun Filudara. Finudara. Uh, can we just call on our mommy, Mrs. Olale, to come forward, please? I thank God for your life, sister. On behalf of our mama, Mama Baweya, and on behalf of this anonymous donor and our mama here, we give this to you in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And we pray that it will be useful for you in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Our next candidate or awardee is somebody new. Most people don't even know her in church, but we know her in the youth forum. She's an upcoming business person. She deals with the reason why we are announcing what they are doing so that the church can patronize them. She deals in braided wigs. Braided wigs. So if you want to buy wigs now, the braided one, you can now call on Miss Victoria Oluwada Milola Baba today. Is she in church? Congratulations, sister. We pray that this will be like a seed in your hand. And the Lord would expand it in the name of Jesus. It will be useful for you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations once again. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Let me also use this opportunity to thank the Band of Grace Society for their own annual contribution to the development of the youth. Thank you very much, Band of Grace Society. Praise the Lord. And we celebrate Jesus as he returns. As we celebrate God in the lives of the donor for Kindle Grants and Band of Grace. Everyone that has contributed, may the Lord continue to replenish their purses in the name of Jesus. Now it's time to give to God what out of the abundance that he has given to us. So I just advise that we package our offerings when it is time for us to present them unto the Lord. Um, we are going to ask us to do so. But please locate the right envelope for the tithes, the offering for this service. Locate the right envelopes. And let's lift it up unto God. Let's lift it up unto God now. I think we can do it now. Let's lift it up unto God as we pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to be alive and to give to you. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Lord, as we give you these offerings, we ask that you will bless and sanctify them in Jesus' name. Bless the givers also. Lord, we pray that from where this has come out from, you will replenish. You will banish lack out of our household. As we give our tithe, rebuke the devourer in our homes and businesses. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please, ushers, place the offering trolley and... As they give us choruses by the leading of the ushers, let's drop all our offerings at once. God bless Amen. us as we do so in Jesus' name. In heaven you are the Lord. On earth you reign forever. Oh Lord, how great thou art. Blessed be your name. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. Blessed be your name, oh. Blessed be your name. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. La la la. la, la Blessed be your name. He never. He never. You are the Lord. Oh. Lord, I'm grateful. My testimony, by your grace, oh, oh, baby, need a care, oh, oh, need a holler, oh, I don't fall out. Oh, we remote, we remote, we remote, oh, she me no rain, oh, she me no rain, oh, she me no rain, oh, You are not dancing at all. We are your furious. You are your lua. Say, more we re moti, we re moti, we re ba ho. Oshe mi lo re. 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 Oshe mi lo re.
to fire Wadabira in Jesus' name. Please be seated. It's time to go to our act of thanksgiving. And the first on the list is the 10th year remembrance of Mr. Uluagbe Migaola Dele Olusanya and the annual family thanksgiving of Mrs. T.I. Olusanya to come with your friends and family as the church. Thank God for them. Obani Jesu. Obani Jesu, 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 Let everybody sing, Obani Jesu, and then Obani Jesu,
Father, eternal rock of ages, you are the one who created us. When you created us, you knew everything about what we are going to do on the surface of this earth. You knew about your son, Mr. Benga Oladene Olusonya, whom you called to yourself 10 years ago. We thank you for the life that he lived. We thank you for the family that he left behind. Today, 10 years after, they have come to offer thanksgiving, to appreciate you for keeping them thus far, for taking care of them and all the members of the family. Father, we come before you to say we thank you, Baba. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for this family as they have come to appreciate you. Lord, be well with us to continue to live and to appreciate you. Give them in the name of Jesus. Lord, all the days of their life, they will always have reasons to celebrate in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that your provision will be upon them. In terms of their need, Father, you will provide for them in Jesus' name. We pray for the children. Lord, King of glory, we declare that in everything they decide to do, Lord, your glory will shine in the name of Jesus. We pray, O Lord Almighty, they have come this year to appreciate you on the occasion of their family thanksgiving. Father, next year, none of them will be missing in action in Jesus' name. In good health, you will bring them here, O Lord. And they will have reason to testify to your goodness in Jesus' name. We pray for those who are saying amen with them. We say, the Lord, you will continue to guide them and protect them in all their ways in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. <laughs> Mrs. Bukola Adeyemi on the successful burial of her late mother on the annual family thanksgiving of Mr. and Mrs. Adetayo Adeyemi. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing it cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord. Come and see the Lord.
of life we bless you we worship you god almighty the one who knows our beginning and the end father we bless you we thank you for the successful burial of the mother of our mother mrs adeyemi mrs bukola adeyemi thank you for giving her the opportunity to do the right thing we bless your holy name and she has come here today to appear before you with a heart of gratitude be thou magnified in the name of jesus Dear mother, we pray for you. As you have done the right thing for your mother, at the right time, your children will do such in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God Almighty will replenish your resources. You have spent a lot of money, and I pray God will restore back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. All that you have spent physically and spiritually will be renewed and restored in the name of Jesus. God Almighty will refresh you. I pray for you that you will live long in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die before your time in the name of Jesus. You will see the goodness of the Lord on the land of the living. And the Heavenly Father, we thank you concerning the family of Mr. and Mrs. Adita Yadeyemi. They have come for their annual family thanksgiving. Father, I accept their thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear people of God, as you have appeared before God Almighty, I pray for you. Before the end of this year, none of you will die. In spite of the situation of this country, none of you will die. In spite of the economic situation of this country, you will not beg for bread. God will defend you. He will fight for you. Where you need strength, he will strengthen you. Where you need authority, he will authorize you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, that the glory of God will be seen in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. God will be with you. As you have come this year, next year we will not meet you in the grave. More of it on the land of the living in the name of Jesus. And your thanksgiving today will bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For we pray through Christ our Lord. Olorun to to bi Olorun baba Olorun 
of the celebrants of today. The youth forum of All Souls Church, Bodija, led by the president and the executive. They will come forward, parents invited and well wishers joins them as they come for the 35th anniversary celebration. 36th, yes, I know it's 36. All right, quiet. Oh, yeah, where you get away? Yes, who are you? Get Oh, 
Father, behold your children. They are the strength of the church. They are the future of the church. Lay your hand upon them for good in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for every one of them as they kneel. You will lift up their heads. The Bible says you are the lifter of man's heads. You are the one who determines the boundaries of nations. You are the one who determines the rising and the falling of tribes. Father, lift up their heads. Cause them to rise above their challenges. Cause them to soar above their peers. I pray for you, my children. Your strength will not fail you. I say it again. At the crucial point of your life, your strength will not fail you. Every spirit of discouragement and despondency in your life, I cast out in the name of Jesus. May your hearts be filled with hope. May your hearts be filled with joy. Receive boldness. Boldness to overcome. Boldness to succeed. I pray for you that glory that the Lord has destined for you, you will receive in the name of Jesus. In this dark world, you will shine like light. The Lord accepts you and your offerings. All of you who are at crucial junctions of your life, the junctions of marriage, junctions of career, you will not make a mistake. I say it again, you will not make a mistake. You will not marry your enemy. You will not steal strange land. Thank you, Heavenly Father. When you gather again next year to celebrate, may you have many testimonies. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. What is celebrate?
Today, Father, and throughout this week, we pray for the families of Ogundu Ile, Ogunleye, Ogunaike, Oguniyi, Ogunusi, Ogunraye, Ogunriade, and Ogunsoya. Father, let your favor rest upon these families. Lord, let your grace surround these families. Let your mercy locate these families. Answer them at the point of their needs, Father. And Lord, as your people go forth in this new week, I pray that the heavens will support them. Beloved of God, as the Lord goes ahead of you, the land will favor you. The air will favor you. The waters will favor you. Every single thing you lay your hand to do this week shall prosper. Hey, Nira manifests you. Hey, Nira manifests you. Hey, Nishe Kungebi. Throughout this week, I pray for you. Doors of opportunity will open unto you. You will not go hungry. Neither will you beg for bread. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, grant you grace, now and evermore. If you are glad to be part of this 36th youth anniversary for this year 2024, shout aloud, hallelujah. Can you help me welcome to your right and to your left? Tell the person, welcome to God's presence. Tell the person, in this place, there is no scarcity. No scarcity of money. No scarcity of fuel. No scarcity of cash. Everything is available. And it shall be available for you in Jesus' name. On behalf of the vicar and the advocate of Bodija, advocate, the venerable engineer, B.B. Obawaya and Mama Obawaya, we'd like to welcome each and every one of us to this glorious 36th anniversary of the Youth Forum of All Souls Church. It is our prayer that the blessings you have received shall be permanent in Jesus' name. If you know you have been blessed by the ministration of our youth this morning in various aspects, can we celebrate our youth? Youth, celebrate yourselves. Celebrate yourselves. Celebrate yourselves. Anytime I'm in the company of youth in this church, I always sing the song we normally sing in NCCA. I'm, I'm, I'm part of family of God. So closely knitted into one, they have taken me into their hands, and I'm so proud to be a part of this great family. Do you love this family? I love this family of God. So close. to be part, part of this great family of God. Some of us that started this forum are now mothers. Abby, their children are now part of the youth forum. And so gradually by gradually, the youth forum is increasing. In the next few years, we begin to have grandmas and grandpas in the youth forum. By the grace of God, by that time, none of us shall be found wanting in the name of Jesus. So we'd like to appreciate everyone and indeed all the youth for this great anniversary. It is our prayer that we shall celebrate many more in Jesus' name. Please, let's listen to the following announcements. You can be seated so that you will not be standing too long. If 
you are worshiping with us for the very first time, please, can you stand to your feet so that we can welcome you in all sorts of ways. If, is there any worshiper in our midst for the first time in this church? All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Please, those of us who are around there, please let them feel welcome. Let them feel welcome. Welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see. We can see all over you. The glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name. Street by divine arrangement. Please, we we'll thank you for coming. We we'll pray the blessings you have received shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Please, we like to have a short meeting with you at the end of this service to give you a token for your coming this morning. So come to the front and sit on the pew dial in front of me here, and somebody will be waiting for you to receive you. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Church, let's listen to the following announcement. First of all, i like to appreciate our brother, the mystery of God, Minister Oluwati Milen. How many of you are blessed by his ministration? Somebody was whispering to me that Anglican communion is blessed. He's one of our sons from Ambassadors, uh, Jesus Christ Ambassador uh, Allah Doyin, and uh, we, are, we are so proud that he's one of us. We pray that your ministrations and your ministry shall go over and over every oceans and valleys of life in the name of Jesus. When the role is called upon Zion, may you not be found wanting. You will sing on earth and sing in heaven. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All right? God bless you. Okay, also, Perry Urban training. Don't forget that Perry Urban training those of us who have registered, it takes place this Saturday by 10 a.m. And those who have not registered, I'm glad to announce to you that registration is closed. Uh, it's closed. You don't need a man, it's the truth. Uh, you don't need a man, that's confirmed. Uh, so, please, those of us who have registered, let's come to church by 10 a.m. on Saturday. The training comes. This week, by the grace of God, we continue... Um, with our Bible study on Tuesday by 5 p.m., Wisdom for Daily Living. It is a study on the book of Proverbs taken by our vicar, and I believe we have been blessed. And if you have not been part of it, please be part of it. We have listened from the prayer this morning that what makes you to be ahead in life is wisdom. May we not lack wisdom. So come and listen to the wisdom of the great wise man that ever lived on earth, the writer of the book of Proverbs. And let's delve into his wealth of wisdom. The Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. On Wednesday, our prayer meeting is 5 p.m. Let's come and pray. And the God that answers prayer, we answer our prayer in Jesus' name. On page 4, we have two appreciation from the family of Mr. M. A. Ulusoya. For those who stood by them after the demise of our father 10 years ago, Lord, we call Jesu. I'm a renewed boy in Bubu Wow. We call Jesu. I need for Jolo Jolo. We shall live to our rightful age in Jesus' name. Another one from the Champions Department. For those of us, all of us, who celebrated the Champions on their 40th anniversary last week. On behalf of the vicar and the entire priesthood of this church, and appreciating all those who gave in cash and in kind and supported. 
is our prayer that our champions will continue to do good in our lifetime in Jesus' name. Item 9, if you'd like to give a testimony at the midweek prayer meetings, please see any of the assistant priests and you can decide to give anonymously. Just make sure you write it down and drop it for any of the assistant priests. And your, How many of you have been blessed so far by those testimonies? Uh, even while I was in school, I was listening to some of them and it was wonderful. Wonderful. It is our prayer that we have many more testimonies and yours will be the next. In the name of Jesus. Meetings, Women Christian League have their meetings today after this service. Fountain of Hope have their meeting next Sunday. Men Christian League have their meeting next Sunday. Anglican Christian Fellowship have their meeting next Sunday. Mothers Union and Women's Guild will have their joint meeting next Sunday on the topic preventing and managing high blood prayer by Dr. Oyebola Shonuga. Let's pray along and plan to attend. Bodija Addiction Report meeting holds on Thursday, 22nd August at 4 p.m. in this church. All board members, please take notes. Coming events, we have the confirmation classes on page 6. For the confirmation for this year 2024, the training starts on 24th August by 3 p.m., Members who are wishing to be confirmed are enjoyed to register with Reverend Taiwa Adekoya immediately. Students will be returning to school and who we wish to be part of it should see the vicar for special consideration. What we are saying is those of us who have not been taking the communion and you're already above 13 years and you are, or you are 13 years and you want to be taking the communion, you need to do what we call confirmation. And that's the laying on of hand of the bishop of this diocese. And to do that, you have to start confirmation classes. So if you have not registered and you'd like to register, please see Reverend Taiwa Adikoya. He will register and then the training commences this Saturday. Let's come and be part of this, those of us who have registered. Understanding Anglicanism, the word there is Charlie's Veil. Please, can you show us the Charlie's Veil? All right, the Charlie's veil is the square material dropped on the pattern, the pole and the chalice. It is placed on top of the pole, which rests on top of the pattern, which contains the host and rests on top of the chalice. It is also the same color as the vestment and the liturgical color of the day or the season. You, you are wondering why am I laughing? I'm wondering because some people are wearing it on top of the paw, it rests on the pattern and rests on top of the chalice. It looks like speaking in tongue, isn't it? Uh, but it's not tongue. Uh, yeah, try to show us the picture there. Uh, when you see um, the table prepared, uh, that thing you see on top of it, on that table, is the boss we showed you last week. You see, remember, that's the angular thing we normally placed. And that next cloth that you normally see coming down on top of the chalice that you see a symbol on it with this liturgical color is what we call the chalice veil. It's just the veil of the chalice, the cup on which it is on top of. And uh, it has symbolic meaning in Anglicanism. Take note of all this because exam can come anytime from now. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't worry. Don't worry. God will bless us because of our coming today in Jesus' name. Study corner is on page 7, and please read when you get home. It will be a good reading. Those of us who celebrated our birthday last week, or today is your birthday, please stand to your feet so that we can celebrate with you. Celebrants. Congratulations, Daddy. Congratulations, Grandma. Congratulations, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Those of us who are around them, can we stretch forth our hands towards them, everybody? And let's pray for them. Let's wish them well. That in this year of their birthday, they will do good. Let's pray that the Lord will remember them for good. As they celebrate their birthday this year, they will celebrate many more. Let's ask the Lord that the Lord will give them a wonderful birthday gift. Before the end of this month, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our celebrant, please be seated.
All of us, let's stand to our feet as we sing a happy birthday song for them. remain standing, but the priesthood can be seated. Please ask. If I don't do this, I'm sure the youth will not be happy. Because everything we are doing in the youth forum will not be possible, if not that we have a father. Who cares for the youth? Who loves the youth? And who has listening ear for the youth? So uh, we are going to celebrate our daddy, the vicar, and the mentor of all youth in this church, the venerable and mama, BBO of Bawea. Youth, you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. And can we sing this song to celebrate daddy? Ba ba wa ara li ale kala la fia point to daddy and say that Thank you daddy thank you for always after us. Youth in diaspora will be happy that I'm saying this. Even youth in diaspora. I remember I called one, one, uh, one time and I said, uh, I didn't have time. Uh, he said, daddy is always calling us every week. I mean, that statement touched me. That even those in diaspora can testify that they have a father. Lord, we call Jesus and he bad the Lord on you, sir. Lord, you me in Asheriri. In Jesus' name we pray. On page 6 is our confession for the week. And it's taken from Isaiah 58, verse 11. Please seal it with the resounding resume as I declare it into your life from NLT paraphrased version. This week, the Lord will guide you continually. Amen. He will give you water when you are thirsty. Amen. He will restore your strength. Amen. You will be like an ever-flowing spring. Together, can we say, I confess the ever-living God as my pathfinder and provider. I declare that I have received the promise of God's guidance, provision, and restoration. And it shall be real in my life. In all souls, church, Bodija, we shall enjoy the fullness of God's guidance, provision, restoration, and multidimensional blessings. We declare that all souls, church, will be nourished and with flourish and prosper in all areas. We declare concerning our nation, Nigeria, that every barren sector in this country will be made fertile. Every desert in this country will bring forth water in Jesus' name. I declare that this week and beyond, I am a receiver of God's multidimensional blessings. In times of need, I will be satisfied abundantly. The Lord will water my life, work, and family in Jesus' name. I declare that my strength is restored and I will be like ever flowing spring. The spring of my blessings and joy will not run dry in Jesus' name. I am blessed, highly favored, and supernaturally lifted. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. 
this week and beyond. Enter into your season of manifestation in Jesus' name.
come to the western doorsteps for a photograph after the service. I declare as we go this week, we will defeat every devil. Amen. We will overcome all challenges. Amen. And we will come back victoriously. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.